It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Welcome to 2K Sports, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson, sitting alongside the big diesel, Shaquille O'Neal, and the prop plane, Kenny Smith. And on tap tonight, it's the Cleveland Cavaliers going up against the Warriors in Oakland. And for Golden State, one of the things they'd like to accomplish, getting good shots. Maybe easier said than done. Defenses are quick to adapt, but they know that that's what gives them the best chance to win. And tonight, don't sleep on Kevin Love. Terrific all-around player, Kenny. Can yes. bang inside. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I know. You're agreeing with everything I say. Yes. But, okay, so tell me about Kevin Love. He's unf unselfish, too. Don't forget that, Ernie. No, you know, he he's a, Here's unselfish. a guy who's kind of taking a back seat in certain areas to really fit into a championship team. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. got NBA basketball in store for you. We're live at the Oracle Arena in Oakland, California. The home of the Warriors, live on 2K Sports. 2K Sports is proud to present NBA basketball. This is Kevin Harlan with Craig Anthony and Doris Burke, our game analysts, and from the sideline, David Aldridge. And before we get going, let's hear from David Aldridge, John on the sideline. David? Well, Kevin Durant is much improved as a defender, and maybe it's some overdue appreciation, at least as he sees it. He said, people are starting to recognize me as more than just a scorer. I've been trying to shake that rap since 2012. I look to impact the game on both ends of the floor. Kevin, back to you. A two-way player to be sure, D.A., thanks. We have two teams tonight, Doors, with a lot of experience between them. What type of game in your view, does that typically result in? Well, typically you see a very well-played game, very few turnovers from either side, a high level of execution on both the offensive and defensive ends, and sometimes it comes down to the little things. Who wins the 50-50 balls? Who goes to the free throw line more? When you're talking about two high-caliber, experienced teams, it's the little things that make a difference. Attention to detail. Well said. So Golden State will get the first possession. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. On the court for Cleveland, Smith and Osman are the wings. Love is the four with Thompson in the middle. And it's Sexton in at the point. Now here's Thompson. Back to Curry. Just four to shoot. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Curry's got the first bucket of the game with the three for the Warriors. Sexton kicks to Osman. Inside, here's Thompson. And he uses the glass on the layup. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. And that's not the type of defense you want to play, right? You've got to make it more difficult than that. Layups are too easy. Now, here's Green. Curry outside. That one doesn't drop. Sexton has it in the corner. Drills it from outside. You know, the timing, the rhythm. I'm a big fan of when Sexton can just catch and shoot. And the Cavaliers were so good at so many things last season, Doris, but the defense had lapses. Well, you could go a step further and say the defense was poor over the last couple of years for the Cavaliers. When you look at the metrics, they were bottom three in a lot of those metrics. This is a team that relied on its offense to win games. They made no secret about that. The Warriors shooting their first foul shot of the night. And take a look back at last season and what a season it was for them from the free throw line. 82% as a group. One shot, gentlemen. Well, Steph Curry, widely regarded as the best shooter in the history of the game. He's been so successful playing point guard in the NBA at times. I think we forget that he transitioned from playing shooting guard in his younger days. Now here's Love. It's good. Love's got his first bucket of the night. And guys, that's the kind of aggression you want to see from Kevin Love. He sees a chance to make a play off the bounce and goes right to it. Outside Durant. 
on the wing, Thompson. Screened by Cousins. They kick it out to Green. 17-foot shot on the way. And it's in there. Curry's got eight points. You know, Greg, a lot of players can't make that switch from shooting guard to point guard. You've got to give Steph a lot of credit. Uh, he's worked tirelessly. I mean, we've all seen those pregame ball handling drills. He's still prone to a careless turnover, too. But on the plus side, he rebounds like a shooting guard. And today's point guards are expected to score much more than in days past. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And, guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that momentum. And there it is for him. Well, you get a sense of the recognition from Steph Curry and how quickly he moves through his progressions because, boy, if you're open, he's going to give it to you. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. And you think about how the Warriors attracted Kevin Durant to the team and all these All-Stars coexisting. It doesn't always work like that, does it? No, and I give a lot of credit to Steph Curry, a two-time league MVP, but he never lets his ego get the best of him. His good-natured calm and sense of serenity kind of set the tone and maybe balance a bit of what Draymond brings to the locker room. And the Warriors with some changes. Bell is checked in for Draymond Green. Iguodala comes in for Kevin Durant. And McCaw is subbed in for Thompson. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Hill, no good. Golden State's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Curry can't get it to go. And a surprise he doesn't knock that down. Defense a little too lax that time. And it's Corver off the drive. Here's Clarkson. And the layup's good off the glass. Boy, Kev, how about the recognition of Kyle Corver? Puts the pass on time and on target. Makes it an easy opportunity for his teammate. Here's McCall. In the corner, Iguodala with it. And it's off from three-point range. Cavaliers have gone five of six so far from the field to start out the game. Clarkson passes to Corver. And the whistle blow. It's going to be on Andre Iguodala. That's his first foul. There's 37 seconds left to play in the first quarter. That's their third straight make off an assist. Ball's knocked loose. And that's out of bounds. Golden State will retain possession. Here's Cousins. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Bell against Nance. Bell's shot is good. I'll tell you, nothing like having excellent interior position and the athleticism to finish. Jordan Bell, step to the mic, sir. Cleveland shooting their first free throws of the night right here. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. First one falls. The one thing with Clarkson, sometimes he can get a little out of control. And he does a tremendous job creating offense and putting himself in a position to attack. So he gets them both. <laughs> now Curry. He's got eight. to McCaw. Back to Bell. It's Curry outside. No good trying to beat the buzzer. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Cavaliers ahead. They lead by three. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Oracle Arena in Oakland, California. Kevin 
Durant talked about his teammates and about the Warriors roster, the envy of every team in the league. I like our depth. I like that we could play, you know, we could play big, we could play small. We can match up with a lot of different teams. And uh, it's just a matter of us going out there and playing consistent basketball. It's easier said than done. Um, but we like who we are right now. We just got to continue to keep getting better. You know, Greg, KD has a lot of help with his team. And that's why he signed with the Warriors. But even with all their talent, you can bet Durant is going to be leading the charge. And we got a close game here as we get back to the second quarter. And taking a look at the Cavaliers' performance here, what do you guys see? Playing smart in this first period. Credit their unselfish play. Well, the assist total is skyrocketing at this point. Actively looking to set up their teammates. I'll tell you, love the way they're playing. DeMarcus Cousins out there with Bell. And there's Iguodala. And there's Livingston. And it's McCaw in at the shooting guard. That's the Warriors' five. Here's Hill. That one, no good. And Golden State will come the other way. You know, in this era of the Golden State Warriors, it's easy to forget the lean years. Prior to this six-year run, guys, the last time they had made it to the playoffs four consecutive seasons, 1952. Now Nance after the missed three from Igudal. Cleveland moving the ball around. Six to shoot. Nance sets a screen for Hill. Misses off the left iron. Doris, the Warriors' six-year playoff run tying their record set in the first six years of the franchise's existence. That's when they were playing back in Philadelphia. And just to give you a little more context, only three of those seasons did they have a winning record. Make no mistake, this is the golden era of Warriors basketball. And here are the Cavaliers now following the score by Golden State. And he gets the bucket. Time out, time out. Waba's got the lead up to three now for the Cavs. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And really, whether you're up or down, it's a game of adjustments. Well, I'd like to see them mix it up a little bit. You've got to keep the opposition off balance. And some changes here for the Warriors. Raymond Green, he's checked in for Cousins. Kevin Durant comes in for Andre Iguodala. And it's Clay Thompson in for Patrick McCall. And then for Cleveland, Love's check in for Nance. Osman comes in for Kyle Korver. And it's Sexton in for Hill. Green, no luck. Boy, that's high impact defense in the lane. Standing tall to deny the easy bucket. And the pass to Love. Over Green. And Love gets it to go. Love's got his second bucket. Doris, who are some of the players you watch that get stronger as the game goes on? They're not cut down by fatigue and, and, and still have that energy. Something left in the tank. Those guys who show me superhuman strength, a la Kevin Harlan. Those guys who come to mind, LeBron James. That's a bad man. It doesn't matter if it's the first minute or the 48th minute. Russell Westbrook is indefatigable. His stamina and his ability to dominate in triple overtime once is absolutely incredible. And then what did we see from Anthony Davis when Boogie Cousins went down? A man who for 48 minutes on both ends is a problem. Those three men, Kev. Endless energy. No good on that one. And Draymond Green, an extremely vocal leader. Uh, he's in his teammates' ears, always trying to keep them on edge. Also in his opponents' ears as well. And then there's the officials. Uh, he, he tends to like to get in their ears as well. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Cleveland. Smith comes in for David Mwaba. Good on the second free throw. And Draymond Green, Greg, has been among the league leader in technicals. If you're one of his teammates or his coach, do you try to get him to dial it back? You know, his greatest strength can, can probably also be his greatest weakness. That fire and motivation really second to none, but I'd be careful not to hamper that enthusiasm. It's stolen by Livingston. Green kicks to Thompson over Smith. Outside for Durant. 
from outside the arc. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Kevin Durant is a threat to shoot it as soon as the ball hits his hands. This guy incredible, relentless as a scorer. And the call will be against Sean Livingston. That's his first foul. Jordan Clarkson, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. It's stolen by Bell. From 13, the Cavaliers pull it in. Well, the defense paying no attention at all to him, and all he can do is throw up a brick. Ouch. Golden State's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. Boy, the defense gets into his head and alters his release when he really doesn't have to. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. Boy, for a capable three-point shooter, that's one he expects to make. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Raymond Green obviously gives you a lot of things, Doris, but what really jumps out on the stench are the assists he picks up. Well, I think Draymond Green would tell you that it's helpful to have terrific scores around you, but what this young guy does have is incredible vision, an unselfish and focused mindset. Draymond Green is an asset to any organization. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. One drops, he ties it up. I don't think you can help but admire what Draymond Green brings to the floor on a night-by-night -night basis. This guy plays with a giant chip, and he wants his teammates to come with him. Catching up on the changes for Golden State, DeMarcus Cousins is checked in for Bell. And Steph Curry is subbed in for Sean Livingston. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. And this last offseason, one that every Cleveland fan dreaded. LeBron hitting free agency in Doris. They were right to be worried. And now the challenge for the Cavs organization is replacing a player of LeBron's magnitude. This is a group that still has talent, but it certainly has to think about rebuilding. It was an incredible second stint for LeBron in Cleveland, but the Cavs will surely be a whole new team without him. Here's Osman. He dishes it to Clarkson. Knocked away. Durant with the steal. Jumps up. And the jam by Kevin Durant. Boy, KD has become such a feared defender, and there creates off his defense an easy opportunity for his teammate. And the first half comes to a close. We've got a close game going on here. Warriors lead by one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Coach Duran Lou. Coach, what is the focus going to be in the second half? Just play the right way. Move the ball, share the ball, get stops, and get out and run in transition. Always leads to good results. Thanks, Duran. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and the Jet Smith. What a start it was for Stephen Curry. He had eight points and two assists. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? They played aggressive, locked down defense. That was the main difference in the first half. Because when you come out and establish that you're going to play physical, that sets the tone for the rest of the game. On top of that, I think they showed more energy, outworking and out hustling. Shaq, how do you think Cleveland played? Well, I didn't even know who some of these guys were, but their bench came up with some big shots, gave the team a lift offensively. It's always possible those guys will see more minutes in the second half, but at the same time, if you're a starter, you're a starter for a reason. We shall see, Ernie. And that should do it with the second half about to begin. Let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there.
The third quarter now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. One guy who's been getting it done so far, Stephen Curry. Yeah, so far they haven't found an answer for him. A, a scoring machine here in that first half. And it's mattered not, Greg, whether he's been spotting up or creating for himself. He was unstoppable. And you hope it carries over to the second half. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. Cavaliers trailing. Checking out the group for Teron Liu to start the second half. The forwards are Osman and Love. Sexton and Smith are the guard tandem. And it's Thompson in at the center position. That freed up. Nice work off the pit. Osman's got the opening bucket to start the second half for the Cavs. Curry passes to Thompson. Cousins with a screen on Smith. And Cousins kicks to Curry. Some nice passing by Golden State here. To the middle, poked loose, and stolen by Sexton. Osman, the pass to Smith. Good work there as it goes. Smith's got his first points of the game. Well, you really like to see Smith go to work inside there, always looking to expand on his game. They set the pick. Here's Cousins. Ball's knocked loose. A yeah, blown opportunity after the two-man game creates a terrific look. Well, he simply misfired. I mean, you've got to capitalize when the screen opens up wide open shots like that. Curry kicks to Thompson. Passes to Cousins. And they get it. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Cleveland leading by six. Here's Osman. And it's Durant with the rebound. You know, missed that one, but still a really good start coming off the break. Three for four now. The offensive prowess of Kevin Durant. We knew it even back in high school, but winning the NBA scoring title at age 21, uh, Doris, that really sealed the deal. Yeah, in fact, Kevin becoming the youngest player to ever win a scoring title. He's obviously gone on to do it multiple times. And to me, where he's really advanced is his ability to make plays for the teammates around him. Kevin Durant prides himself on affecting winning at both ends of the floor. And the Cavaliers call time here. Yeah, just hitting the reset button, a chance to kind of talk some things over. I think sometimes that's all it takes, right? We'll see if it helps them moving forward in this one. A different look now for Cleveland. Well, Doris, at times out there, things get a little heated. Some people feel like the whistle's being blown too quickly on some of these technical fouls. What do you think? I would actually completely disagree, Kevin. I think there are certain players who are given far too much latitude and others for whom the whistle does come too quickly. So I think it would be better and more helpful to the officials, the teams, and also the fans to understand what is and what does cross a line. Because to me, there's no consistency. There's a lot of confusion. Uh, and I think it works both ways. Sometimes too long of a leash, sometimes too short. Excellent appraisal. Basket counts. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Boy, Larry Nance Jr. showed last season he can be a productive starter. He has always been efficient and complements a lot of different players. Well, for Larry Nance Jr., so much of what he brings Doris to a lineup is energy. Right, Kev. He's an igniter, right? That hustle and coming up with timely plays is what he is known for.
and he makes the first. I think obviously one of Steph Curry's main attributes is he's not one dimensional. I think critics want to say he's about the three point shot. This guy can score from three levels. And Cleveland making a change here. Clarkson's checked in. <laughs> Stephen Curry hits them both. There's that accurate touch of his at the stripe. He is locked in. The Cavaliers leading by four. And here we go with Curry running it up the court. And then Cousins with the dunk. Yeah, the long reach of Cousins really enables him to hammer home some skyscraping jam. The Cavaliers have gone four and seven to get things started here in the second half. Hill passes to Zizic. Durant against Korver takes a three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. There's 48 seconds left in the third quarter. And he misses the go-ahead basket. Cleveland's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. And it's out of bounds. And they say it was last touched by Durant. Channing Fries checked in for Nance. So it's Cleveland with it. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. With a tie. And it's Green missing. The shot and game clock separated by four. Out to the wing. Here's Fry. Green with the block. A valuable, dogged defender. Draymond Green doing his thing. The Warriors have gone just 25% from the field here in the second half. They're two of eight. Thompson dishes to Kerr. With four seconds on the clock, and it's sent back by Hill. I think for a point guard, George Hill has incredible length, superb at timing, when to rise for these rejections. Third quarter comes to a close, and a battle brings it to a tie. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? We call that, Greg, putting it right in the pocket, and he knew what to do with it once it was there. All right, the fourth quarter of action getting underway. We've had a great one so far with both sides coming to play. Thompson and Igudawa make up the perimeter. DeMarcus Cousins out there with Bell, and it's Curry in at the one spot. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Curry with the steal to take the lead. Uses the glass that time, and it's good. Curry's got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for the Warriors. Cavaliers trailing. Sexton kicks to Smith. Tipped away. That's out of bounds to the Cavaliers as Cleveland retains possession. For the Cavaliers, Tristan Thompson comes in for Channing Fry. And it's Jetty Osman in for Jordan Clarkson. Thompson kicks to Osmond. Sexton with it. It's a pick by Love. Clock at four. The putback. Rebound by DeMarcus Cousins. Cousins has got four rebounds in this game. Back to Bell. Golden State moving it around. From D. Bigudawa. Sexton grabs the board. 
Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. And the foul on Jordan Bell. That'll be his second foul of the game. Green, he's checked in for Jordan Bell. And stolen by Cousins. And here we go with Curry running it up the court. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. And it's a four-point warrior lead. Well, he's one of those guys who's kept their offense clicking there in front, thanks in no small part to what this guy's done. Green with the block. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. Cousins with the ball. Good D by Thompson. The Cavaliers trail by four. Osman kicks to Sexton. Not loose. And now Curry running the floor all by himself. And the jam by Stephen Curry. Well, that basket began with Steph Curry's defense. He's thinking one step ahead creates the steal and triggers the break. And the Cavaliers call time here. And not surprising, obviously unhappy with the lack of response from his team. I think, Greg, he just has to get them on the same page. With this kind of lax defensive effort, something has got to change. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Teron Lou as he talked with the team. He told them that they're getting it done in the paint. He said, they can't guard us inside, guys. Keep taking it to them. Pound it down low. Let's see if they keep it up, Kevin. Thank you, David. No one near Smith as he lets it go. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. Pass to Cousins. Lays it up and banks it in. And the Warriors lead by eight. Man, his inside game is about as good as it gets. Cousins loves operating out of that low block, and there isn't much any opposing defense can do to stop him. Cousins pulls it in. Here's the Warriors with the ball. It's been eight unanswered points for him. Udama. And he got the whistle, so he'll have a three-point play opportunity. Well, Kev, you love the determined nature of Andre Iguodala. Even when he gets bodied, he's willing to power through it. Cavaliers making a switch here. Hills checked in. The free throw drops for Igudala. Well, I think the veteran and championship experience of Andre Iguodala is critical. This guy is a versatile forward who is well known for being a defensive stopper. Love, no luck. Oh, great effort there. That's how you defend the paint. Well, that's just stellar interior defense. You can't ask for anything more than that. It feels like that one could be the dagger. Not, not enough time to completely erase this deficit. Well, Greg, it's going to be tough, that's for sure. A shot like that has to devastate the other team. Here's Curry. Guys, a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, they definitely should use some clock here. And, and we'll just watch the clock wind down, guys, in what will turn out to be a win here for the Warriors. Their inside game was what secured them the win tonight. They had their way in the paint. And those are all high percentage shots. But the defense couldn't stop them from getting down low. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Steph Curry. Well, I think his contribution clearly came at the defensive end, right? He came up with a bunch of huge steals. He was a menace all night long. Hill against Curry. Smith outside. Love with the screen on Thompson. Igudala with the steal. Pass to Cousins. Thompson in the corner. Trying to find Green. He's got it now. Good D from Love. And here is Hill. See the Warriors taking the game here. 
They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home, no doubt helps. And the execution was flawless. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Kevin, how did you guys get this win tonight? Well, we had to get stops. You know, those guys, they got so many options, so many good players, man. We just had to rally around each other and get stops. Yeah, you guys played your best ball at the end and got the win. Congratulations. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.